Man, the textbook definition of crashing out is to do an act that will most likely result in jail or death without thinking. Right next to that definition in the dictionary is a picture of Lil Rai, the rising rapper from Mobile, Alabama who's gone viral for his antics which include getting robbed in the mall and beefing with damn near every single rap group you can find. Like bruh, imagine dudes hating on you so much that they find you in the mall, rob the clothes that you just bought, and then post the fit that they just robbed you on Instagram bruh. I swear this new generation of crash dummies is even more bold than the last and when asked if he was gonna move different after this crazy incident in an interview you know what Lil Rai said hell nah <laughs> man let me ask you a question buddy so look so you just got into a little dispute that happened yesterday right yeah and it's not in, in here all right but let me ask you a question so how you feeling like you're not feeling like you want to move more, more smarter in like you're not worried or nothing like that hell nah I swear, we gotta get into the crazy beast of Lil Rai and how he got caught up in the worst way possible, man, and what exactly is his crash out future right now. But before we do, man, I'm gonna need you to do a couple things for me. Like, comment, subscribe. We on the road to 100K subscribers. Make sure y'all tap into the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com. Go hit that notification bell so whenever I post, y'all tune in right away, man. So let's get into this. So by now you definitely know who Lil Rai is. He's a rising artist out of Mobile, Alabama who made a name for himself from his five southern music and crazy online personality that has him looking like he's about three breaths away from crashing out. Man, I don't know if bro is a marketing genius or slightly autistic. The way he moves around and somehow, someway was able to develop a beef with not just NBA Youngboy but somehow found a way to implicate 21 Savage's gang 4L into his antics also i'm i'm gonna say it right now i really doubt that this is gonna go well or really end up well in the future especially because bro somehow decided to move to atlanta but in order to really understand what makes bro move like a crash dummy you gotta really know where he comes from and how exactly all this started in the first place lil rise from the south side of mobile alabama growing up he got clicked up with members from a gang called fox 10 a notorious gang named after putting ninjas on the news he was coming up in the streets and he began to build a following in his rap career coining influences such as young boy even though they beef now eventually he was able to expand his music reach by signing to gucci man's crash dummy label 1017 and moving to atlanta to take music more serious before i continue i should probably mention that him signing to the label 1017 is definitely a major red flag in this story in case you haven't noticed, all the artists that are signed to 1017, you know, Fujiano, Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar, are pretty much either dead or in jail. There isn't one single successful 1017 artist besides Gucci Man. Every single other person pretty much crashes out on some type of timing, you know? But 1017 might be the worst label in rap history. And the crazy thing is that they pretty much encourage this type of behavior because it helps them sell views, sell clicks, and everything like that. And otherwise, his music wouldn't really be differentiated between other rappers and, you know, other NBA young boy copycat type rappers. The music industry is crazy, man. Pooh Shiesty in jail, Fujiano in jail, Lil Wop turned to a prostitute, Ola Run, he's in jail too. Lil Rai pretty much crashing out before our very eyes. It's, it's a recipe for disaster, this label, and this is completely who he's surrounded by. Not to mention though, his ties with this rap label in the street world definitely put a target on his back so we must get into how that might just get him clapped in the city of atlanta altogether man so things all started to take a sour turn one day when it seems that young boy made a cryptic post referring to someone as a rookie it was from a song but for some reason lil rhyme the biggest nba young boy fan turned young boy hater manifested or beef and somehow suspected that this cryptic message was meant for him this essentially unleashed a whole fried tirade on the internet that made him diss young boy and 4k trey when i'm a rookie mother i know i get shit kick it too now young niggas that pop out cut with switches just to hit at you i don't stay too far from you talk you talk shit and me visit you you never be with no gangster 
try to show you what they chilling do. At the same time, Lil Rai decided to get even deeper into the streets of Atlanta by clicking up with the infamous 5L game. Being close with the members of 1017 such as Ola Runt, he clicked with some of the henchmen, a gang called 5L which were basically swarm ops of some of the biggest rappers and rap groups and gangs in the city if not in the world if you didn't know 5l is a gang comprised of both bloods and crips from the east side of atlanta off edgewood and are sworn enemies with 4l aka 21 savage and young nudies gang consisting of bloods from the east side of atlanta paradise east apartments area and on top of that 5l has a crazy beef with homicide gang aka duct tape game which has several members affiliated very closely with playboy cardi cardi even talks about calling a hit on bola run in one of his biggest songs saying i had a shank ola for pie bruh swear you can't make this up you can probably guess it's extremely hard beefing with you know whole multi-millionaire platinum rappers because they got so much money they can just pay someone to pull up and press you and they have unlimited pool in the city so much pool they can have goons that walk around just looking for rappers to check in and that's exactly what looks like it happened to Lil Rye apparently that fateful day that he was robbed in Lenox Square in Atlanta so we gotta get into what exactly went down right now somehow two days ago in early November 2023 Lil Rai decided to pull up to the mall too deep to one of the most set up locations a well known rapper can slide to in Lenox Square Mall. If you've never been to Atlanta or been to Lenox Square Mall, this is just a quote unquote upscale mall in an area of Atlanta called Buckhead, which is where all the wealthy people with money go. Except I feel like more of the wealthy people go to the Phipps Plaza across the street rather than going to the Lenox Square Mall because the Lenox Square Mall is just straight like not good activity basically going on there. A lot of up and coming rappers and entertainers and people who think that they're up and coming rappers and entertainers go there, but it's low key kind of sus, filled with random people who be looking like they're up to no good and trying to rob people and stuff. There's a lot of crazy activity going on, you know, shootouts in the parking lot. It's an infamous mall for a lot of crazy activity on the regular. It's the type of place where you might just get shot in the parking lot if you're like messing around or doing the wrong thing at the wrong time for real. But it's not really a bad area. It's just that people go there for the sake of shopping because it's one of the like quote unquote nicest malls really in the area. So you find a lot of people over there. It's sort of like Melrose in LA you know like a nice area that could easily go wrong apparently while Lil Rye was shopping he came across a couple of members of 4L who didn't take it too kindly with his affiliation of 5L because 5L constantly taunts 4L by saying 4LK which is a diss basically saying they're 4L killers this group didn't take too fondly to this and decided to take matters into their own hands they asked if he was trying to check in with 4L as they were the biggest most powerful rap group in Atlanta Lil Rye essentially being a crash dummy rejects this and basically we know the story he got robbed they try to steal his chain and they didn't get it because he had this big 1017 cuban link chain which are like extremely hard to pull off but bro straight up robbed his clothes put on his fit and then posted it on the internet man i swear you bro you cannot make this up and everyone was basically cheering it on they went into detail after and explained that they were not even trying to rob him at first they were just trying to have him check in you know pay up for pulling up to the mall especially not even being from atlanta talking crazy and gaining these street affiliations with people that you don't even know these are just people that are on your label and bro got these street affiliations with the group that's losing bro it's craziness man but regardless 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 yeah so essentially he got robbed and then the dude posted his fit online and then young boy felt some type of way too and said that this is what happens when you mess with him so it's pretty much like some of the biggest rappers in the world essentially beefing with this dude that was relatively unknown before this incident and now he's like pretty you know kind of big i guess but he's known for pretty much crashing out the following day bro went into detail with an interviewer in the same mall where he went back and said that he was going back and that he doesn't even care and they asked to man yo are you gonna start moving differently and he said hell no you know 
bro went to the same mall obviously the people that were there they're not gonna go to the same mall the the people that robbed him they're not gonna go to the same mall twice obviously you know why would they they already got everything they needed they got all his clothes and everything bro really dug himself in a hole pretty much went back so i really don't hope that there's more little ryan news in the future that is really tragic but i wouldn't be surprised if there was because i've never seen someone just willingly crash out you know bro has been so bad at this even a year ago this video is of him pulling up to his ops hood with the switch and the gas station and stuff bro is like just waiting to like crash out man like i don't want to say he's waiting to die but pretty much what else is he gonna gain from this bro he's on 10 17 so it's not like there's people around him that are like hey man you need to stop doing all this stuff you need to stop doing these drugs you need to stop you know going to these locations you need to stop flexing guns with illegal modifications on the internet man you gotta stop all that stuff like no one's really telling him that i'm just pretty sure gucci man i wonder if he even knows all this stuff but the real question for me is how on earth did he decide to just come to the city of atlanta and then join a beef that basically has been going on for like years now and basically go on the side that is losing you know that doesn't even make any sense whatsoever and then really walk around the city i mean obviously he probably didn't understand the politics of this whole situation but it's like man what can you really do if you're a little right well first off you cannot do this crap i mean like there's no point of even discussing what he should be doing because it's like this dude is pretty much already fried to the point where it's 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 only a matter of time and it's really sad that i say this but hopefully he learns from these situations and he's just using this as like a marketing ploy to try to get people to look at his music because his music is not bad i'm telling you his music is good he's one of the most promising people on the 1017 label which says a lot even though everyone else is pretty much locked up and there's no poo shices right now or any of those type of people but i just hope that there's a better path for him but you see in a lot of these rap situations these people that blow up overnight for like negative things end up getting you know caught up and murked you know look at like btb savage this really reminds me of btb savage even though he's been around longer than btb savage but btb savage essentially was a rapper you know who was pretty big and then had a moment online because his ops basically broke into his house and he shot them in self-defense he was taunting them forever and taunting them for a week and by the time that he got big he had already been taunting his ops for like a week or something and then pretty much he died right away like a couple days after his peak and he had a vlad tv interview and had millions of streams he got gunned down and i'm not saying that that's gonna essentially happen to little rye but it just doesn't really play out that well but there's a couple of factors that might keep him alive just based on the fact that the da benny willis is really cracking down in atlanta that maybe these people aren't gonna want to like publicize shooting someone i mean they seem pretty smart they didn't use any guns while they were robbing him and even though it was filmed there was nothing that really was like warranted anything that would recall or cause anyone to get shot you know no one got really seriously injured or anything like that they had guns but they didn't use them which is honestly pretty smart if you think about it because the da is trying to crack down on this type of activity and if there was a shooting or anything like that it definitely would have went south you know could have been Rico's for all of for all 21 savage and young nudie and baby drill could end up getting caught up but man regardless i just feel like it's not very smart to beef with for um i'm not saying that in for any other reason but it's just saying that they're crazy psychotic man bro look at baby drill go watch my baby drill video just talking about how many bodies this dude allegedly has and then come back here and tell me that little rice should be beefing with 4l man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation man is this information correct do you think little rice is gonna crash out or do you think he has a plan man is he the man with the plan let me know what y'all think in the comments you already know what it is stay safe world let's get it